Hi, Shelly Copeland here, Affiliate Broker Analyst with uh, First Realty. I want to thank you for watching our video. Just wanted to point out some things that you might miss on our uh, property up at McAlpin in Livingston. Uh, it's a well-traveled road here, of course, 111 up here that everybody knows comes down. Um, Highway 42 is here at the bottom of the screen. And then as you go back up um, 111, um, that is actually Monterey Highway. So three very well-traveled. That's coming from All Good. Coming on down, uh, there's Monterey Highway, where the overpass is there, Life Church on your right, and then Highway 42 dumps out in here into Main Street, which is 111. But as you get into Overton County here, it's also called Main Street. If we put up, um, I think we've got the, the, um, the traffic count coming up here in a minute, but it's about 24,000 um, cars that pass by this, uh, this, this street up here, Tom Davis and uh, Main Street, which is where this property is located just directly behind uh, Dollar General Market. Um, so as you come into Livingston, uh, this is where all the restaurants are. The co-op is right down below us now. Um, of course, anybody that uh, lives in Overton County knows that uh, you either go to, that, that's actually the lot back there. So that's, that's the lot. This is it. It's back in behind Dollar General. Um, it's actually five acres, 4.9 acres. Um, really great standing lot. It's um, topography here. You got about 50 feet here above street level. Um, you go from 934 up to just before 1,000 feet. So you're well over 50 feet above. So prominent signage is going to be visible from those three um, highways that we saw dumping out there. I mean, you should be able to get really good visibility uh, during the day and especially even at night. Um, like I said, really large lot, plenty of room to do anything you want to do, residential development, industrial, um, hotel, retail. Um, right here, we're going to go down to street level um, up here in the front and show you just this is going to be Main Street directly in front of the co-op. So here we are here. Uh, that's where the traffic count is. Of course, co-op there, which is uh, everybody knows co-op. Dollar General Market there. Um, interestingly enough, Dollar General Market there, um, the property, which is directly in front of this property, um, sold um, for three, I think it was, yeah, 3.9 million. So um, that's um, 3.93 acres. Um, the property that we have is actually five acres. It's directly behind it. So at that price, um, it's uh, much less than what they paid uh, um, St Stonehorse uh, purchased that property uh, for 3.9 million. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna take we're gonna turn around here. There we are again, Dollar General Market. We're gonna go up um, what's Tom Davis here, and we're gonna take a trek up through here. As I said, really well traveled road as well. There's co-op. Anybody who knows anybody in Overton County knows that if you don't visit the co-op, then you visit the Dollar General Market. Um, most of the time, you're gonna visit both. As we come up here, um, this this picture must have been old on Google Earth, but if you look here to the left, anybody that knows this area. Uh, really well visited store and rightfully so in this in this area people love their Kubotas and their uh, mowers They've actually got a lot more than this out there now, but that's directly across the street from this property um, Now so that that house is gone. and This is there now. It's part of the co-op and it's a uh, you know uh, four-wheelers uh, Kubotas gators that type of stuff farm uh, farm uh, you know uh, vehicles if you will Okay, so we're going to turn around and show you the size of this lot. It's a really huge lot. I'm going to show my age here, but this building right here used to be a bar some time ago, a country western bar. Still would make a great venue for that, for a mechanical bull with all the growth in this area. The front part was the bar there with the restrooms and storage and, um, and uh, walk-in cooler and whatnot. Uh, the big tall building was um, actually, where there was a lot of chairs, had a, a stage as well as a really large dance floor. Um, like I said, a big, huge lot here, plenty of parking, whatever you wanted to do. Um, and as you can see, the topography here that we were talking about, with you get that elevation. And if you go and look on our MLS um, document, you'll see that we have pictures from up there that shows you the vantage point from up there. This is McAlpin Road that runs right behind Dollar General. So that's um, actually, you know, you got another way. You got Tom Davis, you got McAlpin, which comes on the other side. And we're going to go up here and show you um, the building. You've got 16, I think that's 16 feet uh, rolling doors. Metal roof in really good shape. Um, whether or not you wanted to use the building, uh, you know, it's um, totally up to you. It's uh, being used as a warehouse now. 
Um, like I said, across the street, you've got the Power Sports, um, you've got Co-op here, and you've got Dollar General here uh, that went for $3.9 million recently um, before they built the, uh, the market there. And, um, you know, you got plenty of parking, like I said, at retail, industrial, um, anything, the possibilities are endless. Even residential development, uh, you know, would, would be a possibility. What this area to me really screams is, um, you know, uh, you're close to Dale Hollow Lake. You've got three lakes surrounding you, if, uh, you know, effectively here in this area. And other than Overton Motel here, if you look in either direction here, it's at least 20 miles to the nearest, um, you know, chain hotel. So, I mean, I really feel that I don't know how it's been this long with these three well-traveled roads coming in here that someone's not built a motel or, or a hotel or motel, uh, rather, um, in in Overton County. Um, um, overnight B&Bs, the, the market here is just, it's on fire for it. And, of course, everybody knows with the exponential growth, it's just, um, so, but if, you know, if not a hotel, then, um, Retail, industrial, um, country western bar, just uh, the, like I said, the possibilities are endless. A great piece of property for the money, well worth it. Um, and if you see here, you're showing the lakes here. So this is actually uh, showing the lakes that are highlighted there. Kind of not my best. Uh, I'm not really an artist, so I'm more of an, I'm way more of an analyst. So um, if you look here, like you, in going in either direction, um, and of course Overton Motel's right.